What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today, the Marsman crew is breaking down and reviewing episode three of The Last of Us TV show on HBO. And just like we always do, we actually try to divide the episode into two parts. The first part is going to be a non spoiler section where we discuss our ratings and our impressions about the episode. And the second half is going to be a spoiler roundtable discussing the key events of the episode and giving our honest opinions about how we feel about them. And honestly, this episode is a very interesting one. I think uh, we'll start off with our impressions just to kind of give like what we think about it. And then we'll give our official reviews. So I think when I'm looking at this, this had some good moments. I think it was mainly focused on kind of like obviously you're in the outskirts at this point um, and you're trying to find a, you know, you're, you're seeing all these things going on around you. And I thought they did a good job at setting the stage of some really messed up things that are happening. So, and then within that, that time frame of seeing mess up things, they do give a kind of a, a good loving story. So I think that this was a touching story. I thought the music was pretty good for this episode, as well as the dialogue and the character writing between different people. I thought Bill and Frank, obviously I thought the, the character, the acting of the, of the two characters was great. I mean, I gotta give a lot of props to Nick Offerman. He could do a lot of different things, right? You know, I, I kind of joked around with, with Langella kill. Like all, when we were watching the episode, I was like, it's like Ron Swanson and, you know, in Last of Us, basically. And it's kind of crazy because you never see him doing these types of things. But he did a great job playing in a... And I, he's been in other serious stuff before. But this was kind of like a different look for him. And um, it was very interesting. I thought they did a good job with the dialogue, character writing, music, atmosphere of this situation that's going on. I thought they did a good job with that. But I do want to get your guys' impressions, and then we can jump into our official ratings. Uh, I'll start with Hockey first. What do you think? What was your impressions of this episode? Yeah, so I mean, I, I liked how it started off. Um, you know, you kind of still saw the back and forth between um, Ellie and Joel. Uh, you know, right off the right, right off the bat. Um, you know, even walking and, and uh, going, I guess, into that uh, little uh, hideout that Joel had to, to get his uh, weapons or his, his um, you know his ammo. I thought was pretty cool. Um, you know, seeing Ellie and I had talked to one of my boys about this, seeing Ellie, um, you know, uh, do what she did. I don't want to, we're not getting into the spoilers yet, but, um, I'm pretty sure that was kind of a different vibe that she was given off yeah. uh, rather than the game, you know? Um, so I mean, you I, could say her confrontation would have affected. I don't think yeah, that, yeah, that's a small, yeah. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get into that, you know, probably later, but so I thought that was kind of interesting to me, um, to, to kind of see that. Um, but I mean, the whole impressions of the episode for, for me, I mean, I thought the episode was okay. Um, I thought they spent a little bit uh, too much time on a few things uh, without giving uh, the light to, you know, Joel and Ellie more, you know. Um, but, you know, it, it was all right for me. Uh, so, Angelica, what, what were your impressions of this episode? Yeah, so I'm going to go right off the bat. I actually, um, to me, this is the lowest uh enjoyment episode that i had out of the three and uh i like the first two more but i will say i did not dislike this episode i just felt this was a notch below the other two and it doesn't go without the great acting i thought nick you know nick offerman like you mentioned has been in other serious things but i haven't seen him in other serious things i only know him from the comedy type uh, atmospheres and I thought he was really good. Like, you know, whether you like the writing or not and what they did him and even the guy who played Frank, which his name, um, I, I can't think of his name right off the top of my head, but they did a really good job in this episode uh, acting wise. And it was really well directed. It just, you know, this is obviously the biggest deviation from the game that we've seen so far. Um, and I know that's going to cause uh, a lot of um, discussion. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing is that when I'm looking at, and I'll jump into kind of our my reviews and, and our ratings and everything, but I feel like the key thing that struggled for me for this was pacing, right? I think that pacing for, our, you know, for these episodes have been, uh, and by the way, the uh, actor that plays uh, in, as Frank is Murray Bar Bartlett, right? So the... What I noticed is that one, the dialogue is great between characters, right? That was I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna escape by that one, but I feel like pacing is the struggle that this episode had, right? And you kind of mentioned it already, Langelic Hill. I think one of my issues that I felt was drifting so far away from the from the game story and taking risks and and doing something different. I just don't think it landed as well for me as it might have done for other people. I think for to be honest. When playing the game entirely and, and and seeing kind of how people are, and we'll talk more about this in the spoiler discussions, but 
really the story of Last of Us is about the story of what happens to the people that, who are remaining, right? And, and, and kind of the themes that you notice are always about how life is messed up when the people that you held dear to you are now not there anymore. And how does that change you as a person, right? And I feel like they kind of lost that with this episode that I thought was crucial. And I was extremely excited to get to Billstown by playing that mission in the game. I was like, it was one of my favorite missions in the game. And seeing how drastically different it was in story plot kind of got me annoyed, to be honest with you. And I was like, yeah, you know what? It was a good, it was a touching story. I'm not going to lie. It was sad. And yeah, and I think that you definitely are going to be teary eyed watching it in, in a lot of ways. But I just feel like you missed the mark. I thought you could, there was a lot of aspects that were great. And then they just kind of missed it, right? I feel like they missed the layup. Like you had a good thing and then you just missed it at the end, right? Whether it's a layup or a jump shot, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, it's like, I feel like you had a good thing and then the the end just kind of, you missed it, right? And I feel like that has a lot to do with pacing, right? I feel like too much was focused on other things and they could have divvied that time for other stuff. And I feel like they didn't. And that's why I feel like, and, and maybe I'm, I'm reaching here, but I'm going to give this a six. I think this is a better than average, right? I think it's a better than average. Average is fine, right? This is better than average. It was the lowest of the three for me. I think it drops down because of maybe because I like the original story and how screwed up everything gets in this in this game. And this felt like a, it was a it was a good love story and it was a great story, a touching story. I just felt like you you missed a lot of that messed up like aspect. You know what I mean? Like I feel like you lost that in this episode. And the, and even the director and writer are saying, yeah, you know, this is the biggest change we've had in the game. And as much as yes, this is a loving story for sure. I just feel like you miss what Last of Us really is is really doing all the time. It's about showing how messed up it is. And we'll talk more about it in the spoiler section, but you could have written Bill as a different character and you probably could have landed more with me, right? As well as other people that were more fans of the game um, with the way they wrote him, right? And I think that was kind of my issue. And maybe I'm being too harsh with a six, but if I'm giving a five as an average, six is better than average. It's just, it is the least of the three. I gave what an 8.8 .8 for one. An 8.5 for two. This one dropped for me, right? It just dropped for me just because of pacing. I thought was was a little off, right? I feel like it was off, and I think the writing direction that did for this episode was, in my opinion, it could have been done better, right? And I think that's maybe my issue, but that's my rating. But uh, I'll let Hockey go next. Hockey, what what was your rating, and why did you pick that rating? Yeah, so I was gonna pick a number uh, and make a joke about the number. I'm sure you guys can figure out what number I was gonna say, but um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm pretty close to you. I'm at like a 6.6. .6. Um, you know, I thought again, um, like you guys said, the acting was good. Um, dialogue was good. Um, I just thought they spent a little bit too much time um, on the love story between, um, you know, Bill and Frank. Now, the good thing is that they, you know, kept that there in the story, Bill and Frank, you know, Bill had a lover named Frank. So I'm totally fine with that. I get it. But I think like you were saying, they could have used 20 minutes they could have cut 20 minutes of that and used 20 minutes to give me more um you know character development or bonding between joel and ellie you know the real story of uh you know the last of us so you know it, it's going to be a, a sort of low score for me i mean my first two are in the 90s so um you know my third you know my three week average is, is going to be a little low but um you know if they stay closer to the storyline i think they're they're still able to you know hit it out of the park so yours is 6.6. 6.6, yeah. Okay, so Angelica, what's your rating? Yeah, so I'm higher than both of you. I'm at a 7.8, and um, I think it is an above average episode. Things that I would change is kind of similar to what you guys are talking about. I would just add the love story part, you know, when everyone watches this, I'm not going to go into Just think about the Pixar movie Up, and you'll kind of get a good uh, feel for how this, how that good chunk of this episode goes through. And we'll talk about the details, but just think about that if you haven't seen it yet. Um, love stories are not really my thing, which is why it's not. I think for a love story, if you just talk about love story, they do a pretty good job of generating this love story. It's just, I'm not really into that type of stuff like you know like it was very emotional it was well written it was very well acted i actually think like the acting and the dialogue really carried this into the sevens for me but like you guys said probably want a little bit more joel and ellie and i wanted a little bit more conflict which was really strong in the first two episodes they had a good pacing between conflict between infected people and you know each other 
a little bit more of that I wish was in this, but a 7.8 I do think is an above average. Um, and just below the 8, just because I'm not really into that love connection stuff, but for a love story, I think they did pretty well. Yeah, so listen, I think that's going to be the end of our non-spoiler rating discussion. And to be honest, if you've seen the episode and you want to drop what you think the rating should be, please put that in the comments below. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. We drop things, uh, we drop these reviews every single week, as well as a lot of other videos discussing our top games, reviews, as well as other types of content. So please make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to join up on all that. We do live streams at least three days a week on Twitch. You can follow us in the link below, as well as join us on social media on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Discord. And that is in Instagram, and that is all located in the description below as well. And we are now going to jump into our spoiler discussion. So if you want to stick around and keep watching, you're more welcome to stay. We're going to head off now to spoilers. So here, guys, we are in spoiler discussion. And I think based on what we've all said, I think the episode is definitely above average. We all agree to that, right? This is definitely not a bad episode, right? We've we've experienced some bad episodes of gaming adaptions in our lives. And, and nowhere near do I put this on a scale of what the Halo show has done to us uh, and entirely. So, or Resident Evil. If you or or Resident that, Evil really. or, or you know any of those other garbage shows. So yeah. this is definitely a good good still good episode it's just more about how you feel about the things that occur right and i feel yeah. like when you're looking at this this situation and i'll go through some key things i think it started off with obviously a good good scene there's no opening no opening scene that did this time which was definitely different i kind of pointed i thought about that for a minute i was like wow they've been landing on every opening scene in last of us so far and they just skipped right to the start and i was like okay well this is my jumping right to it but this is outside of boston obviously ellie and joel are now going to go to Joel's little stash spot where they're going to try to find some resources. And they, you know, they, you know, while Joel's looking for stuff, Ellie gets to the basement, finds some, some tampons, which is, you know, jackpot, as she says. And, you know, search my ass is what she says or something. And she sees an infected st uh, stuck under rubble. And uh, Haki mentioned this in the, in the non spoiler discussion, but very interesting moment happens where she kind of takes out a knife, kind of cuts him up a little, and then just stabs them, right? And this is something different you've seen from Ellie. You haven't seen this aggressive side from her really yet. I mean, you see a little bit, but not really to this degree yet. And so it was a very interesting scene. Um, and at, at the end of the day, so what they do is they keep moving on. And, and Joel's like, oh, yeah, there's a really messed up spot coming up. And, and Ellie's like, nah, nah, I'm like, dead body? It was like a bunch of dead bodies in a pit where he was saying how the government basically, they couldn't fit everyone in QZ zone. So they basically started just wiping out a bunch of people from communities that they couldn't fit. And it was a pretty messed up scene. It was it was kind of showing you how brutal um, this world is, right? Especially with how bad infections we're getting. And then uh, right from here, you know, Joel is saying, hey, we got to go to, we got to get to to Bill. Bill has, you know, has a running car. We're going to use that to, to go find uh, Tommy, my brother in Wyoming. And he can, he can get us to the Fireflies. Uh, and so we need to go to Bill's town, right? And then that's where you see the flashback where uh, you see there was the same shirt of one of the women that was dead goes to the town where Bill's town is, right? Where Bill basically is a survivalist. He's a conspiracy theorist. And as the government was rounding up everybody, he was hiding in his in his basement with all the right. guns. And he was right. The government was taking over. They were trying to kill him. So he stays in his basement with all of his weapons and everything. And he's, he's like, yep, yeah, I knew it. I knew this day was going to come. So I'm all good. And right from here, it was like one of those kind of like those 80s like soundtracks where all of a sudden he starts going shopping he's grabbing all the stuff and building up the securities and then he has his booby trap set up and he's just having a nice meal and then obviously the day comes when frank comes uh, comes by and uh you know obviously he gets stuck in one of his traps bill's not really trusting a people but he's like all right you know what you can you can come in you can you know i'll cook you a meal or whatever and then um you know he they kind of bond over like the piano obviously how frank is is bad at it and, and bill's like a great piano player and then they kind of have like a very awkward love scene. I feel like this was kind of one of those points where I was like, you know, we could have like, we could have quickened this part up a little bit. It was just awkward. I feel like that's the thing. Like I've seen enough Game of Thrones in my life where I've seen awkward sex scenes before. And I've never been a fan of, of a Game of Thrones sex scenes or House of Dragons sex scenes. Like just like. And we definitely, can... de definitely don't watch Oz. <laughs> yeah, don't watch Oz either if you're, not, if you're not into the awkward sex scenes. So like, let's let's just speed it up. Like you, you could have told me that they had sex with just like them naked in a bed. Like I could have been fine with that. Not saying like I, whatever. Like, but the whole point is, is that I was more worried about pacing and time consumption of some of these things. Like you. So then from here we start getting into really the relationship where 
you know, obviously Frank and Bill started having good times and then some bad times where they're just them, right? And and Frank wants to have friends and Bill doesn't trust anybody. So it's really difficult for that to work. But Frank gets in contact with, he's like, I, I have come in contact with a female. We're having friends here. They're coming over. And it's Tess and Joel are the two friends that they make. And they start kind of being friendly. They're having dinner. You know, Joel is being the smuggler that Bill needs. Like, because he was saying, you know, I, hey, you, you know that wiring there, you know, if you use aluminum, that thing will be up forever, right? But if you keep that, that thing will rot and you have nothing. And, you know, even Bill realizes that sometimes it's good to have at least acquaintances that can get you things when you need them to. And that's how they build that relationship between Joel Tess and Bill and Frank. And as time goes on, uh, obviously, they it, it's been years. They keep showing different parts of their relationship where things are going great. Things are going well. Then raiders show up, and now they have to like defend against the raiders. Uh, Bill gets shot. Uh, he's kind of weakened. He's kind of affected by this for the long haul, as in he has like a limp to him because like of his da of the damage that he he takes. But what ends up happening is in the present day, they get all the way to 2023. Frank gets sick. I mean, we I think based on research, we believe it's what uh, believe it's MS or possibly cancer. They don't really go into the what it is. Yeah. It's just they stay. He's he's sick and he's in pain. He can't. He's in a wheelchair. And so Bill uh, is basically taking care of him and it gets to the point, and this is where it gets really messed up where, you know, Frank kind of says, this is my last day, right? I'm making this my last day for sure. I want to have a good day with you. And, and uh, you know, we're going to do all these things I want. And the end of the day, after you cook a meal, you're going to give me all these pills, lace and lace in my wine, and I'll die in your arms at the end. It was, it was sad. It was really just a messed up scene. Cause you're like, you ever have any relationship with anybody and you hear that you can be like, yeah. That's messed up. Like, you that's know, that's tough. a really yeah. sad part. And I think I think that everybody can feel that. And that's why it was like, and so everything happens, you know, and then what ends up happening is Bill and Frank both drink the laced wine and they both basically are saying we'll die together in each other's arms at night. And then it goes right to um the part where Joel and Ellie arrive at Bill's town. Now, basically, this is the biggest change that happened in the entire episode where people are going to be concern not concerned but they would be like either angry or concerned or whatever it may be with the direction of changing this compared to what the games were and so when Joel and ellie arrive they obviously they see the note and bill was saying hey you know we died don't go in that room but joel you can take out anything you need take the car take the guns whatever you need and just go protect tess and that was a big deal because tess obviously he joel couldn't protect tess tess dies in the previous episode and so it kind of just reflects on Joel not being able to protect not only his daughter when the, you know, in the first episode we saw, but the second episode, he couldn't protect his lover, right? Which was Tess. And so it kind of is like bearing on him more and more. And he says, we are going to, to Wyoming. You need to follow my directions. I need to get you there safely, right? So he kind of feels more now like inclined to kind of protect Ellie. And, and that's where they're going to go next to try to go at least more in that direction. And that's how essentially how it ends. Yeah. But the big thing I kind of want to talk about really is what your opinions were about this episode. And I'll go first. I feel like basically when it, just to give you a heads up, I gave a six, right? So if people didn't see the review portion. I gave the episode a six because I feel like a lot of things they could have done. They kind of missed out on. I feel like it's great to give me context to Bill's character, right? I played the game. Bill, when you in the game and you, and you play that game, Bill is basically a douchebag, right? He's just a douchebag in the game. So you're just like, well, this is just Bill, right? And in the game, you have a lot of those kind of back and forth between named Ellie and Bill and Joel and Bill. Bill's just an ass, right? And you find out that Frank is Frank left, right, in the game, and that's why he's an ass. Now, I always felt if you were going to change parts of the of the story here, that's not a bad thing. But they could have utilized both aspects, whether you're the change that you make that Frank dies with with Bill, like as in Bill's alive afterward, and Frank dies under Bill's care. And then Bill becomes an asshole. Like that would be perfect. Where it'd be like you provided a very sad story that elevated Bill's character to explain why he is so so much of a douche, right? And it would reflect on how Joel could be if he stays like this, right? If he stays in that way, because that's how the games did it. The games kind of showed you like Bill is like this because Frank is gone. He doesn't know. Like, he sees Frank die in the game, like as in he's dead already in the game. But, you know, like they, they didn't go into like they, they didn't get to show that 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 potential of that. Right. And that's the thing I was missing with this, because there wasn't a lot of conflict that happened. here. The only conflict we got was the Raiders scene 
and that was the only thing that they had that showed any sort of possible like issue that could happen the entire and that's the thing it's like i feel like this episode lost potential it had a lot of good things going for it and it was still a good episode but like you missed out right you just missed out on a lot of the things that i feel like the game emphasized with the conflicts bill being the way he is bill's sadness after losing the thing the person he cared about the most I feel like that's the thing. Like, I feel like you, you could emphasize so much of that because that's what Last of Us is about. It's about losing the people that you care about and what becomes of you when you were the last people there, right? That's basically what the theme is. So they missed out on that part. And I think that's why my rating dropped so much because the, t the pacing was so off. That, like you, dra you did a whole love story, an hour long essentially, and then the 20 minutes was with uh, Ellie and Joel and you could have easily had that condensed to then give yourself more of what is Bill like if Bill survived, what Bill's like after the fact, right? And I feel like they missed out on that. But I do want to get everyone's opinion about what they felt of the episode. And, and if you were going to change anything or keep it the same, what would you do? Um, Angelica, I want you to go first here. What did you feel about the episode and with all the events? And would you change anything or keep it the same? What do you think? Yeah, and I think it was in an uh, inter interview with IGN where... Um, the, the guy who made Chernobyl, uh, Craig uh, Meisen, or um, he's the one who wrote this episode. So it wasn't Neil Druckmann who wrote this episode, but Neil Druckmann obviously had to give the okay. And uh, they talked about how Last of Us is extremely dark, and it is very, very dark. It's a very... Um, not, now, this was emotional, but it's a very soul-crushing like type of game. And for the reasons that, that Marsman described it as. And he kind of gave you what went on in the game version, which was a lot darker than what we saw. And I think they created this to kind of be a little bit more of a l happier ending where they kind of went out on their own terms instead of the dark, gruesome, you know, what they become in the video game. And I think that's kind of what driven that. Now, I kind of like the darker version better because I do think it's more impactful, which is, again, why it drops for me. But I also, if you kept everything the same, and I'm actually okay with what they did what i wanted a little bit more and i mentioned it in the non-spoiler more conflict and so the raider scene to me is the biggest missed mark um because i felt that that could have been the moment that was stretched out a little bit longer and got frank more involved and got bill more involved it wasn't just them running into the fence like like idiots and being set on fire right like it could have maybe they penetrated one point Right. And now you have Frank involved in the fight to defend Bill or like just something a little bit longer to show like how dangerous we know infected are dangerous, how dangerous humans can be. You know what I mean? So I felt like that was a huge moment. And then from that moment when he gets injured is a 10 year jump to the present day. I could have used one more flashback of maybe another scene with Joel and Tess. And I think like showing that relationship grow as well so like those to me i can keep the deaths the same like that's actually not what bothered me the most because i do kind of understand that last day was really brutal to watch and like if that was a loved one that you love for so long and they are offing themselves or they're you know suicide i can see why someone else would say i'm going with you you know what i mean so like i understand it writing wise why they did that but the conflict they could have added in between that I think was the missed mark. Yeah, and uh, so Haki, I want to get your opinion here, and then I, I'll jump back in just for a quick thing. But what did you think about the episode in general, and w would you change anything based on what you know, based on what you think? Yeah, so um, I, I gotta agree with both of you, but um, yeah, what what uh, Langelico just said was the conflict, and I don't want to use the word. I, I want to use the word action, um, even though you know. I was talking to one of my boys and he said there's not a, a ton, a ton of action. You know, The Last of Us is kind of like sneaking around yeah. and, and because you have limited supplies. So I totally get that. But when I first saw um, Ellie, you know, stab that zombie, the first thing I thought was, OK, the tentacle is going to the ground and that's going to alert all the other zombies <laughs> all around them. So I thought I was literally going to get 10 to 15 minutes of, you know, either sneaking around or, or having to kill a couple uh, infected um to get to bills and pretty much it, it just went to you know the uh, bill and frank which again i thought the beginning of, of bill and frank was was you know pretty funny he falls in the trap you know yeah, yeah. and and bill was, the arby's arby's joke <laughs> yeah the arby's joke i thought was hilarious you know so again like I, I i'm okay with that you know um and it's because you know the video game um you know uh bill and frank were in the video game as well so again that part um it's good that they kept that part 
I just think that, you know, a 45 minute uh, love scene could have been condensed to 15, 20 minutes. And like Langella Kill said, give me more of that last, what, what really Last of Us is, which is, you know, Joel and Ellie, um, you know, bonding and, um, you know, uh, having to deal with the conflict. And I, I, quick question, what, guys, for both of you. If they kept everything the same, would it would it satisfy the conflict if the raider uh, scene was longer and a little more in depth? So I I would have I would have liked um, you know Joel and Ellie making okay. it to Bill right, yeah, yeah. Jake being dead, Bill being you know the the douche that he is, and then having raider having a raider conflict with Joel, Ellie, and Bill, and having Ellie and Bill have conflict like that's what I would have liked to see, you know. So I, I think I think if again more conflict, more action, um, if everything else stayed the same, just shorten the love, you know, the love making a little bit. Um, I think I'm all right with it. I think the thing is, is that I I would have I would just want to see that interaction between the three of them as a, yeah, as they I were agree. in the games. And and that the it thing is disappointing is, not to have that. And the thing is, is that like let's just say you show us three cut three flashback cutscenes of them like through the years, right? Like the Frank and Bill. You show the first one of them meeting and falling in love. Second one, like they meet Joel and Tess. Third one, they are they he gets sick and he ends up dying. And then that I think like if you started the episode with like Joel and Ellie getting to Bill, and throughout that episode, it's them talking about what the hell happened between you and Frank. Like Ellie just constantly pestering questions like she like she normally does, right? And have her and Joel, like basically her really asking Bill and Joel crap ton of questions the entire time like, hey what happened to frank because they don't want to talk about it right because it's messed up and then you go into like the cut flashbacks of their life and what happens to him and why is bill such a douche and then like what like hockey said if you start having conflicts whether it's with infected like trying to get through the fence or raiders trying to get through the fence and it's that them three fighting against them like it was in the game like and they mainly fought the infected but the point is like let's just say you have the raiders be more involved then you're getting a more like you're getting the picture of why Bill the way is the way he is. You're get the reason why, you know, he is such a douche. And you're still getting these interactions between Joel and Ellie and Bill that people from the games would appreciate. Like, I feel like you, and you're getting action. So it's like you're getting everything in that in that mixture into hour 20 minutes, which means you could have used half an hour on the love, you know, the love development. And then the other remaining minutes on, you know, the scenes of the modern day what's going on now granted yeah you know what you, you could have had a, probably a better setup with like it's, it looks like it's just a cul-de-sac that they just made for bill's town but like you, you could have even made it where like there's car lineups because he that's what he did on the walls he made like a bunch of cars fill up the walls so that it was easier for him to defend like you know you could have done something like that to make the make the inside of the community look a lot more diverse so people it looks like more of a you know navigational thing right you could have done that like that i just feel like they missed on that mark. They missed the opportunity to at least bring in that aspect. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they, that's the thing for me is that they missed out on a really good opportunity. I love Bill's at Bill's town in the game. That was one of my favorite missions to play. And they missed out on a lot of the key things that I felt when I played that mission. And that's why I was kind of so harsh on my score. Cause I'm like, you, you missed out on something that was, that I thought was going to be a lot bigger than it was. And that's kind of just my thing on it. So yeah, I feel like, I, overall, this is the third episode. I feel like this is the the worst one of the three. But overall, the show has been doing well, right? I'm not gonna not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be like, well, this ruins the whole show. No, uh, it's a good show, and they're doing well. It's just this episode definitely for me was the outlier so far. I think what we've seen so far was definitely better than anything what we've seen in a lot of other gaming adaptions. I feel like the only other game adaptions that I was more on board with were probably going to be the you know, the cyberpunk edge runners and, and stuff like that, because I feel like they just did such a great job. But like, at the end of the day, like if we're talking that's about not on the game, though. no, I'm, but I'm saying the point is, is that if we're talking about one of the best adaptations ever on, you know, for cyberpunk for uh, edge runners and last of us as being this comparison, that's a good comparison to be on, right? You're talking about the top two adaptions ever, right? So, you know, like, it's a good show. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like you missed an opportunity with the way that this one had had been written. But any uh, any last things before we close out the show, guys? I just had one thing I wanted to bring up. Um, yeah. Again, the acting super super good, and I think you know one of my favorite characters is probably Ellie. Um, 
I love how um, I don't know the word to use, but like she didn't know what a seatbelt was. She didn't yeah. really know what an airplane was. So yeah, like, yeah. like she's very secluded because she was like born in one of the QZs, right? Yeah. So I think that part is really cool. You mm -hmm. know? Details. That's I think that's the word. Details. Yeah, yeah. And like Joel has to like put this like yeah. Like, this is a seatbelt. Put the seatbelt. Yeah, yeah. like, like I I think and again it's, it's all about the dialogue. So I think. I think that dialogue between them is like one of the most important things to the show and probably in the game as well. So I, I just think, I just wanted to mention that if you, if you keep that going, it, it's just going to skyrocket the show. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I, I thought the preview to episode four looked very interesting. So we're going to see um, next week. No, listen, that's the thing. I, I do want to see how, how does the show keep going? Right. They, they felt, they showed that they were not afraid of deviating, uh, DV, you know, being different than what the game was in this episode they were clearly different now the my only fear is, is that they keep following that trend i do like rather it stay closer to the game because the game was just so good when it comes to its writing that it's like that thing i felt with the halo show like halo shows not even near last of us but the point is, is like once you start deviating away from the game and you start doing different things like that like this instance they changed bill's character essentially the way that it goes out right and how he is as a person later in life so it's like that my only fear is is now you're you're you might be now i don't want you to deviate too far away i feel like the story did it right and if you want to end the episode three this way that's fine but like be wary of making major changes because that could that could alter you know the pathway right and i feel like that's something that not only, like i don't i'm not afraid of what episode four is gonna do because i, I don't think they're gonna change it up too crazy but i'm like just i'm like wary i want to make sure that like i've been too scarred by halo show too much to be like oh it's gonna be great the entire time because i thought the same i thought after episode one for halo show i was like hey looks bright it's gonna look bright from here and then it just like crashed hard midway point was solid and then it crashed hard again and the last episode was okay and then i'm just left like this is horrible like so not saying Last of Us is going to go on that right uh, route because HBO is a lot better hands uh, when it comes uh, to Resident making TV Evil shows. Resident Evil was another disaster. D so. Trust me, uh, Resident Evil was bad. There's a lot of a lot yeah. of good game IPs have had horrible TV adaptations. Like, horrible. I had a whole video on it, right? A lot of bad ones. So let's see Last of Us. Let's see if you can make this keep going in the right direction with episode four. We will drop that next week. So thank you guys for coming by uh, and thank you guys for watching. Please make sure if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Let us know what you thought about the episode in the comments below, as well as join us on Twitch and that is located in the description below as well. We stream three days a week and join us on social media on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and on Discord. And uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm saying here, but definitely check us out on all those and they are also located in the description below. But until next time, this is Marsman from Marsman Gaming signing off. Peace out, guys.